Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Wanted to just show off a modification that I made to my Ender 3 Pro. Um, I converted um, the printer to direct drive, okay? So instead of um, like the typical, you know, some most of the Creality machines, they are um, Bowden based. So there's my CR10 over there and you can see the white um, PTFE tube, so that's Bowden. So the extruder's on the back of the printer and um, you have to deal with Bowden issues. So whether it's, you know, qualities of the fitting, qualities of the tubing, um, you know, gaps being caused between the tubing and the nozzle, it's just continual problems, right? And, you know, I've tried all different kinds of tubing and stuff and bought different fittings and they, they work for a while and I just, you know, had so much success with my um, Prusa i3 is a Mark II S uh, model, and it's direct drive. And you know, there's been so much debate back and forth about whether direct drive is better than Bowden. And there's you can look up all the pluses and minuses, okay? But for what I'm doing, um, this seemed to work out really well. I got my direct drive kit from PrinterMods.com, and uh, basically it came with this, um, you know, custom mount for the X carriage. Um, and then some wiring and some accessories to basically put the kit together and you use whatever extruder you already have um, and then uh, you basically mount the motor connected directly to the extruder and then it feeds right into the hot end. Now, um, the quality of the machining on the X carriage plate was really nice. Um, I, I, I gotta say, I don't know if I'd recommend this particular uh, product. It seems to work great so far. Um, quality of the prints is pretty good. I'm using um, a modified version of Prusa Slicer. Um, and um, I found a, a profile and I basically just kind of tweaked it and made it work for my needs. And so you can see it's printing right now. Direct drive, there's no stringing or anything like that. But I just want to talk about the, the printer mod kit for a second. So. Uh, for whatever reason, it took about I took about three weeks to get it, which is really long. And I paid for the faster shipping, so I'd have it right away. And it it still took three weeks. So whatever reason, uh, it just was it just took forever. And I I sent feedback back to PrinterMods.com about it, and you know they apologized. Um, there wasn't really anything they could do uh, for that delay. So whatever it is, what it is. A um, couple of other issues, the mounting um, bracket, it comes with a bunch of different, sorry, it comes with a bunch of different, um, actually just one, one, I think one or two different mounting brackets for the extruder. So it can basically accept the uh, original Creality um, extruder and I think it maybe has an extra one for the red one, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if you can tell, but I got the gray um, Creality extruder and I downloaded the one, the file uh, for this spacer off their website and it didn't work at all. It was a mile off and um, so that was another real bummer. So I basically modeled my own and made sure that it was a custom fit. Um, so that part worked out okay. Um, something that did not work out okay was the wiring. These are extension, or they're supposed to be extension cables for you to extend um, the X axis cable. And I just opened up the package and I'm like, okay, cool, great. You know, this totally looks like it's going to work. And then I found out um, it wasn't going to work. <laughs> uh, what happened was the cables that it came with are these four pin um, cables, okay? And if you look on the X motor, um, yes, there's only four wires, but the pins on there are, are six pin so they have to go into specific positions so you you know per their website and per their printed instructions you're normally supposed to just be able to extend them from this location and have it connect well guess what they didn't extend so um at first i you know wasn't sure if i had to cut and splice them and then i asked on one of the um facebook groups and they were like hey you know if you open up the control box the connection um is actually four pin down here in to the control board so I basically used the extension cable and extended from the board and then as it came out it became a six pin and then it ex I basically used the original part here and had to wind it all the way back, uh, extend it basically under the printer. So I finally got it working um, and again it seems to work great. Um, it was just a few headaches, you know, the delay in shipping, the fact that the files for the brackets don't work, the extension cables didn't work. 
I messaged the company um, again the first time about the shipping. They replied, you know, fairly promptly. I've sent two messages to the two messages to them, um, you know, informing them about the bracket and informing them about the incorrect cable that they sent. And I bought two of these kits: one for my CR Tennis and one for the Endure uh, Three Pro. And the cables are the same for the CR Tennis. They just give two of them. So. It's been about a month, they haven't replied, and so I'm a little bit disappointed with that aspect of it. Um, again, the quality of the machining of the parts really good, but uh, customer service, you know, it wasn't um, quite what I expected to be, especially because I paid for the extra shipping uh, to have it faster as well too, and just the response to the messages. So I kind of hope they can fix that and address those issues, otherwise it's, um, you know, the hardware part is a good product, but um, they really need to sort out this cable situation. Alright, so there you go, and um, thanks very much for tuning in.